Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Tuesday, the 7th of December, with a huge move up in the Dow of 460. Look at these two big green candles. And uh, the Dow made a doji high at uh, 36,565 on the 8th of November. Plunges down to the 200 period moving average in almost the exact time with an arch formation left side, right side with this, uh, what I call the, the pivot point or the plumb line right there. Accelerates quickly to the downside. And I always say that it's very often that you can see the number of bars to the upside match the number of bars to the downside. The only difference is that very often what we do see is that the acceleration towards the low, or even sometimes the high, but certainly to the low, can accelerate and you get big candles. But with that said, we hit the 200 period moving average exactly, and we've had a really sharp turnaround, and this turnaround has just taken out the declining, uh, this is a pattern that I talk about very often, uh, let me just close this for the moment because I'm busy. I don't want to do two things at once. And now what we're looking at is, did that close? Yeah. What we're looking at is within the patterns that I usually uh, work with, we're looking at, there it is, a pattern that I call um, falling axe. Basically, it's a straight line up. And then you start to make lower lows, lower highs and much lower lows. And it looks like this, Look, there's the handle, there's the blade of the axe, and a stilting down or expanding cone, starts to form a base. And all of a sudden that base sees a break from that trend line to the downside. And if it does that, sometimes it can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside in the same number of bars or the same angle. But at least it'll try to get to a significant left side high. In this particular instance, we've broken above this trend line to the downside, the falling X formation, long handle, plate coming down. And we'll see whether or not, if we go one to one, we will test all time high. I suspect they'll be getting to a point, My, this is what I would be looking at in normal uh, circumstances. And that is that this huge candle that we're seeing today kind of stalls. And then tomorrow we see maybe a doji candle or a down candle. And that gives you the big test of both support, the acceleration, the momentum that you have to the upside. Have you used up all the torque that is the starting, that initial thrust to the upside, but now you don't have enough momentum to keep going? Well, that'll be if the MACD, the, um, the, the moving average convergence divergence can cross positive. That'll give you another burst to the upside. That'll be if the stochastic trading at 34% can get to 52% or higher. That'll be if the unbalanced volume, that's a lot of uh, potentials that you have to look for. But if you look at the weekly chart, that was a fabulous move to the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. And bam, look at this beautiful move. We're anticipating a nice move up to, this is even more than a nice move. This is a spectacular move. And that monthly chart is saying, what? This could turn out to be, <laughs> it's almost impossible to, to say, this could turn out to be a Chapman Wave instant restart. We can't talk about that. Let's go later into the month of December before we get there. All right, let's just run through, through these quickly because there's a, a ton of stuff to be looking at. Um, S&P broke its resistance point. That MACD also hasn't turned up. The nine period moving average is, is weak and it's, it needs to flip to the upside. That'll give momentum to give the boost. I mean, 47, 43.83 was the all time high on the 22nd of December, of November. It plunges down to the 44, uh, was that 95? Let me see if I can read that clearly. 40, whoopsie. 44.95.12 level. Uh, it was just three days ago, and here it is. At 46.79, it's almost 200 points. It's amazing. Higher. And what we're looking at is 
That weekly chart also went to its Chapman Wave Inside Track Pro Palin Zone and now it's trying to rally off that sharply. And that monthly chart still in leg B. We have the whole of December to see if we go to 47.43.84. One penny higher extends your leg B in the monthly. I was talking about this yesterday when we had um, uh, uh, John on the phone from Philly. We're talking about this. And the question was, have I ever seen a monthly chart have a leg B like this and they give everything back or at least a chunk? And all I could say is yes, in IPOs, I've seen that. that. But not when you've got a history behind you of years and years, decades, decades, 100 years, in fact, over 100 years. Um, it's, I, it's so rare. And the MACD is good, the CAST is good in the monthly chart. So, so far, the S&P is holding extremely well. Now, let's get to the QQQ, because this definitely is going to be an issue to monitor. Um, this is a good move. It's just over the at moments that I've been talking now. It's gone even higher. It's up 10.15 at 396.35. Well, this pattern is not as positive um, in the daily chart as the others. But there wasn't that much to go in terms of actual the visuals of the pattern itself. In price going from 408. 71 on the 22nd of November, the all-time high. And yes, there is a potential, there was a potential head and shoulders. One of my least, my second least, uh, my least favorite is the cup and handle pattern. Um, but this, not to say they don't work, it's just that by the time you recognize it, the whole thing's done. Um, and what we're looking at here is the left side of 400.99 back at peak C, that was in November, I think the 7th or something, uh, pulls back, hits the 14 period moving average, rallies in a single move up to the all-time high, 48.71, that becomes the head at peak D. It takes a dive, makes the dreaded H pattern, gives a more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, goes all the way to 378.90. So 30 points, it's still about, what is eight and a half, nine percent or something, uh, not, not such a big deal, but how it comes back is going to be really important because if you look at many of these uh, stocks, now I had a question about Amazon. Someone was looking to buy it, and I had mentioned yesterday that it was, it had touched the 200 period moving average and it had touched it twice. It touched it yesterday. So all I can say is that I don't think Amazon, just at this moment, has the energy to go to 3762.15, the all-time high. This is what I'm saying right now. But as a buy to start a position or add to position right here, even though it's up 79 points, I would suggest to you that because Amazon is such a, a, a an Amazon of a company, it is just one of the major beneficiaries of almost every single area of the internet, of what people want to buy. I mean, I did this the other day. I had one tiny little thing. I've done it so often. One tiny little thing to buy. Click, I bought it, and it arrives. So with it, it actually came the next day. Um, what a waste of energy and time and space and paper. But I, I got what I wanted. And uh, I think a lot of people just do that for the convenience. So I think, yes, if you want to just start your next entry point, not your full entry point, just here at 3,507, I'd say you be, be prepared that it could be pulling back, but I do think this is a major company. Uh, I'll be back. Gaza. Hi. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let's just continue here. We're looking just at the queues gone above that trend line resistance. That's a good sign. The SMHs. So in the den, I think it was baseball. What was it? Baseball eyeballs. Um, I think it was uh, mentioned yesterday. Uh, no, three days ago that they liked the S SMHs, the semiconductors, and that they're looking at a potential A to B equals C to D. And I said, well, I, I was talking about the arch formation that we broke down the left side. Well, what happened was we did go lower and we did go one to one to the downside. Now there's this gap up, up at almost $11 at 310.94. And I have to tell you something, the more I work, because of yesterday's huge close to the upside, the consensus was, when I went through all my different points, that consensus was, that the move in the Dow was very similar to other takeoff um, accelerations that within three or four bars, you had a V-shaped recovery and you just wiped out all the negativity of the going down mode. And um, there were new buyers because of the VIX index, and this was most important. I didn't have the courage to do it for subscribers. I said yesterday, maybe this is the perfect time to be short in the UVIX, UVXY. That's the VIX index. Um, we hit 35.32 in leg D. Very hardly ever goes to a peak D. When it does do that, you got to respect that. It's a Chapman wave um, sell signal. They can go quickly to a sell mode. And yeah, we are down at 22. This is 13 points off the 35.32 high. What is the UVXY? I'm coming back to the SMHs in a moment. Look at this, from the 26 something high, 26 was it 32 or something? 2622, uh, let me type that in. UVXY, and I said this yesterday, was up in the 22, around about 22, 10 or something area. Uh, 20, 26.22. Um, look at that. You would have had a move from the 20, somewhere around the 23s to the 17 area. I mean, that is, I, I should actually have bought my puts on that. Anyway, should have, would have, could have. <laughs> Not prepared to go there. Just to say that because of all the action, remember I'd spoken about the VIX index. I said it is so seldom that on bad news like this, you can go and continue going higher 
when for the last six months or seven months, the highs were in the 28 area. And they were all the same thing, COVID, uh, rates, uh, Fed, whatever it is. And within the pullback was so sharp that within a week it went to a negative. And this was the first time I said, you've got two big green candles. Well, look at this red candle. And so, of course, anything can happen between now and Friday. It's a weekly candle. But look at this already. That is a whopper of a pullback. And that said to me, there's a chance that the Dow could be making um, some kind of a turnaround. One of the reasons why I said we want to keep that long position from way back in 20, uh, March of 2020 because there's no way that you can get in and out uh, without taking some risk. And I didn't want to get out. So we've kept our core position. We did try on Monday. It was just absolutely unfortunate. We got in just perfectly. We got in two split position, long positions right there in that candle three days ago. And then just got stopped out and bam, it just took off like that. That's OK. We've still got we've got all long positions except for our QQQ short, which is still quite nicely in the money. I don't think it'll stay that way. But that's the otherwise all our positions are long and they're all actually doing very nicely today. But most importantly, I think this has the potential to be a takeoff. I'd say that there's a, there could be a bounce and then a retest of in the fairly, the, the, the lows in the 34,500, 34,300 area. That's still a possibility. But I cannot ignore the fact that we got so negative. There must have been so many people getting out of positions and maybe just starting to get back in a little bit now, but not, have not got full positions. I suspect that if this holds and we don't get the little doji or the down candle tomorrow or Thursday, and whatever happens at 35,762 right now in the Dow, if the 35,000, oh, I put it at 35,300 to 200 area holds for the whole week, and we still make slightly higher, not necessarily more, but slightly higher highs and higher lows. Um, I think that could be very important. Now, of course, you've got the whole Russia thing coming up. Um, what's going to happen? I mean, that's talking about stuff that's in the future. It's, it's like the COVID. I, I don't think that that's going to be an issue right now. It could be to a talking issue, but not a real issue, not at this particular point. And I certainly hope that the athletes aren't stopped from going to the Beijing Games, the Olympic Games. You know, you train, you've got to time them when you're an athlete because you don't get this one. You can't wait four years sometimes. This is the end of your run and you're at your top form. I always hate that. I know it's a political statement, but on the other hand, these are, if you really want to ameliorate tension, get athletes together. I mean, there's, a, there's a, the competition, mostly friendly competition. Anyway, let me get out of that. So we're talking about uh, a situation. Now I'm going to go to the SMHs because this is really important. The SMHs were pulling back very sharply. Considering what they have been doing for months and months and months, the only one was the August 16th high of 276.69, dropping sharply to 248. So there you've got 248, you've got 30 something points, you've got about a 12%, 13% correction. And that was time as well as points. So I was thinking that this one so far has used up some time and not that many points. What happens next is absolutely imperative to monitor. This is a really good move. Now let me do this. Let me go applied materials around number high. Um, at 159 on the 16th of November, slides to 100, 141, trading now at 155. Let me draw the trend line, very easy to do. Just go from there, click to there. Let me just lift that up a little bit. There it is. Okay, so we've got that trend line. We're about to challenge it in almost a cup formation. This is the falling axe formation right here. Beautiful demonstration of it right there. We're not short uh, semis anymore. Uh, we're looking at, um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Let's look at the um, Marvell, Marvell, which had that incredible earnings report and then just screwed to the upside and 88.49 the day of the gap higher. And now it's at 
89.65. Wow, talk about the 80s. It's incredible how many stocks I've seen just recent, just over the last two days that were looking so good in the 80s. Um, we missed one today. <laughs> Yesterday, I had this on my list. I said, I like this very much. Let's wait a day, um, and I'll show what it is. S-I-M-O. This is uh, this is called Silicon Motion Tech Company. Provides negative. I don't even understand it. Uh, N-A-N-D. Flash controllers for solid state drives, SSDS, and a solid state storage devices. And I drawn all this out yesterday. And then I thought, ah, oh, let's wait a day. I would have got this yesterday for subscribers because I would have said underneath 74. Well, today it's trading. We missed an entry today. It's trading up almost 11% at 8, 830, up 840 at 84.33 and only late C. I mean, there are things happening here that are amazing in the, that area. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Now we can talk about the e little e mini right here. I'm coming back to the semiconductors in a moment. Just to say, at 4680, up 91. It's unbelievable. Uh, the high that was made of 40. Give me a minute. 46.85 round number high. Let's watch that closely. This is the first time I'm seeing just a chance that there could be some deeper, longer pullback. Uh, it might not happen because there are a lot of people. The short covering is just immense right now. Here's your Chapman Wave Automated uh, Resistance 468. 
46.84.50, we went 50 cents higher, and the support is at 46.78. So you need to see at least a 46.75 quickly, and then 73, and then you've got yourself a little bit of a consolidation. All right, let's get back to the semis because it's so important. Uh, so this uh, Silicon Motion SIMO up at 84.82, up 86, up 11.66, just it. it I, I would never imagine that it did that. My target was just the uh, 78 area and then 81. Um, wow. It just, it's an amazing thing. All right. Now, let's go back. I want to look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trading right now up nicely, but it's in, still in the consolidation phase. It hasn't broken out yet. It is up 13 at 30, 314. So it's up uh, four and a half points. So we're going to be watching this now. I'll draw the line. It's the same line. Everybody's getting, look, from that level to the dreaded H high. So put that down. And I always have to lift that up for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't hit it exact. It's all by eye. So also, a question came in uh, um, overnight. Uh, uh, Basil, all those notations that you have on your charts, other than the technical tools, which are like the MACD, et cetera, uh, are those automated and the answer is <clears throat> unfortunately not. Every single, every single notation that you see on every single chart, whether it's my one minute, two minute, five minute, ten minute charts, whether it's the daily, weekly, monthly charts, every single notation is hand done. And I would have had, if I hadn't lost, well, it's not lost, it's put in the file somewhere. But I have to redo every once in a while when it suddenly shuts down. Trade station doesn't immediately save everything as you're doing it. I have to actually save it. So if it's not saved, what happens is it comes back, but it goes to another file. And I, I've learned how to now do it so that I get back what I was working on. Normally what I was working on is gone. And it's like three months worth of work just gone. And then old charts come back if they get replaced. So um, normally what would have happened is over the 30 years or whatever it is more that I've been using, it used to be super charts and I moved over to Trade Station. They developed Trade Station, same company, Omega, I think it was. Um, and uh, I would I would have every single chart that I ever did would have been notated from the day I did it, from the very first daily day. Um, but I don't have that anymore, so unfortunately. So it's just the most recent. So every single notation. So this is very good action for NVIDIA, but not great yet. So we're going to see. I, th I still think there's some choppy choppiness to come there and in the queues. Because if you look at many, I mean, let's see what DocU is doing today. DocU, DocuSign, barely up. It's up. Oh, woohoo! 2.58 at 146. So some stocks, it is incredible, have had whopping moves to the downside. All right, let's get back to our story. So we want to look at Intel, INTL, part of the semiconductor, the ETF. Uh, big, big gap up. Oh, uh, gap up because did they say, I think they mentioned something about uh, their, the chips that they've got, news chips, whatever it is. It did gap up sharply to 55 round number high. Oh, those round numbers. I had a whole thing. I was going to go through round numbers today to show you how many made all-time highs. Stocks made all-time highs with round numbers. I don't have time. So Intel right now has gapped up sharp, but now it's at the low, almost the low of the session. 52.66 was the lowest at 52.94. It's still up at $1.97. It's really struggling. I just think Intel's old school still it hasn't become new school now let me just do a couple of things so that's that, that. oh mu was another one mu micron hasn't gone back to the all-time i had 89.05 was the all-time high recently but that same day it had an 85 round number low a 12 on, on the first of Je of december so this is kind of well, i'm watching this one it's not as good as the others it had a fabulous move but now it's kind of working its way through to see if it can hold um, and, and that really goes for most of them in that particular area. Now, let me do a couple of things. I want to finish up here. I want to go IWM, the Russell 2000. Very, it was a good move. Now it's a really good move. Finally, it's taking off. It's up 2.78%, one of the better percentage movers of the day. Uh, it is up at 225.11, up six. Nice. 
So it's lagging. It's in the it's in the lower range of the rectangle. It should have a good move to the 228, 231 area if this continues for a little while longer. And then maybe it'll stall. Let's look at gold. Gold was uh, down a little bit. Now it's up a little bit, up four at 1783. It's just stuck in the lower range. It's got a lot of resistance points, but it did hold in the Chapman Wave. Uh, this is the up channel, mini up channel called the Chapman Wave Inside Track propellant zone so far it's holding otherwise if it slips further in the weekly chart it becomes a repellent zone just like the the daily did so all i can say is that until gold starts to trade it can't just go there it's got to trade it's a 1783 until it trades in the 1806 or higher above the 200 period moving average it's just kind of stuck for the moment silver a uh, different kind of chart pattern just lower lows and lower highs it's really struggling it's up 18 cents today at 2242. Let's look at high grade copper, high grade copper, also stuck in the low range. Let's look at wood. This is the global, global copper, global wood, iShares, Turbo Forestry ETF. Nice bounce from the low that was made in the 83s, trading at 89 right now, but it's stuck in the rectangle sideways motion. Uh, so we can, I'll, we'll follow it, but in the meantime, the global timber and forestry ETF, um, wood, W O O D, is acting very well in the short term but more intermediate term it's stuck i want to look at high grade copper i know at crude oil crude oil continuous contract very nice move from the low that was but i don't usually like to type these in because it gets smoothed out and then the price changes nothing about the pattern or anything else but the price gets changed uh 62.43 was the low on the second it's trading nine points higher this is really good but the weekly chart says that hey, it might be good but a second in a range Yes, the second range and the monthly chart is holding good support. Let's see what happens over the next few days. If it's can, if it can get to 75 and start to fill in that ugly candle of the 26th of November, had a high of 78-ish and 67 low. I mean, 11 points, that's huge on the, on the downside. So if it can fill some of it, that's good. Now, a couple of things. Did that, did that, did that, did that. Questions came in. I did that, did that. Uh, FXI, is that being helped at all? Uh, yes, it is, just on a bounce, but this is still not very good. This is the uh, this is the large cap China uh, ETF, and it's trading at 38.77, up 58 cents. I, I just don't see anything there right now. But I wanted to show you the IYT. The IYT, that is a big move. It's almost filled in the gap on the downside. This is the iShares. I love the name. I shares dow jones transportation average index fund give me a break didn't they think when they were doing that they should just call it something shorter trannies it's the trannies the trannies are right now at the chapman wave this is the falling x resistance inside track resistance if the i if the i shares trannies can go to two it's 273 39 up sharply, but if they can trade in the 276 area between now and Thursday, that's really good. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, Ron, we're back. So a question came in, a number of questions. Uh, one was about, uh, is it possible for the SMHs to recycle? Let me just com complete that whole thing with the SMHs. To recycle and have this little mini A to B equals C to D, this is the lightning bolt pattern break. What would, what would change the SMHs from negative to positive? Well, first of all, it's been short term only. I've been talking about this all the time that it's the daily that's been short term negative. And the only reason why we wanted to show I wanted to short it was because it had the exact same patterns, correct patterns for pulling back, which is done. Now it's almost completed that move. But the nine did not. It was so close yesterday, but it did not go negative. The nine period moving averages above the 14. I can't argue with that. So all I can say is this, that if there is a close, not just a push above 318.82, the all-time high that was made around about the 22nd of November. If there is a close in the 320 to 322 area, that will suggest quite strongly that the weekly chart is really in a new move to the upside, and that will help the monthly, I, it's just almost impossible to believe. Your eyes just pop right out and you say, is that, is that possible that it could just keep going when there's been a chip shortage? And until we start hearing words about glut, chip glut, chip glut, chip glut, we haven't heard that yet. This is so far uh, a, a really good sign that the SMHs, the semiconductors have held. And I make a big deal about it because this is, as I said before, this is the, the engine, this is the oil of the economy, chips. There's just no question about it. Mm, chips. Um, so what we're looking at here is the SMHs. I've got a little trend line I can show you right here, right there, from that high. Click to that high there. So it, this is a really important couple of days. Number one is a couple of days because if the Dow has another big green candle tomorrow, that that can't just be short covering. That is brand new buying as well, and that's really positive, and that stays off any a deeper decline um, than in the Dow. I, I would just put that at uh, the whole 33,000 area should be very strong support. But what's really important here is that the power of the move back to the upside, how de determined it is. Every single pullback so far in the last two days has been met with buying. I do not fight those things, and that's the reason why uh, we, we have just one short position left, and we're, we're, that might be taken out, but that's the way we were looking at it. Um, and we're adding long positions, and we're adding long positions in areas that 
if they work, could turn out to be more, um, uh, not shorter term, but more intermediate term. So that's the way I'm looking at it. And I'm just letting the market tell me. We, we had some stocks just get clobbered. Uh, I can't believe it. I'm especially in the what? Look at look, look at this stock here. This is Salesforce.com. It goes from 311.7. This is a major force in the cloud uh, area. 311.76 all-time high on the 9th of November. Makes a 310 round number open. Always a clue to say, whoa, be careful. And it plunges down to yesterday's low of 250. 311. That's 60 something points. A major company in a major area. So, yeah, there have been some big, big losers. But what we need to be looking at is the rotational aspect. Let's go to uh, Sharky in uh, Massachusetts. Hi, Sharky. How are you? Hi, Basil. How are you? Uh, I'm can good. you hear me? Yes, I can. What would you like to look at? Well, you know, I was wondering uh, back two days. There was a call on the OIH. I, I didn't know if we kind of missed that. And then, and then uh, C C CLF. Okay, so folks, OIH is the oil service ETF. Fabulous little V-shaped, mini V-shaped move. Not like the Dow, just a mini one in the uh, oil service area. It's at one ninety three forty two. It's up seven point two three. It's up three point eight eight percent. Cannot dismiss that. That is a huge number, just percentage wise. But it did come tumbling down, and it hasn't taken out the 200 period moving average resistance. So, is your question is this a trade or where's it going? What's uh, the question? Yeah, it, was, it, it was kind of a trade and stuff, and I saw the 200, uh, you know, EMA, and I just wanted to get an idea of what your thoughts were on it. My, my thoughts are that crude oil is probably going to hug this line for a little bit. It could go above okay. it, it could go below it. I think if it. If what normally happens after being support and it plunges below, it becomes resistance, the OIH would have to go to 197 and hold there and then make even a higher high to 200, say that magnet of the 200 uh, um, level, 200 EMA level, and that exactly is 194. Let me just click on it to give you the exact price. 194.14. Be is becoming a propellant rather than a magnet to, to attract yep. the price to keep coming down. So that's that's number one. Number two is if you look at crude oil itself, very yeah. much the same, very much the same pattern, you'll see that the way I've been looking at crude oil is that it's in a big trading band between the 85 area and the most recent low of an actual crude oil around about 62. And at this point, it's up 10 at 72.59 from four days ago, the low. And if you look at the weekly chart, it's got slightly higher lows and much higher high. So I suspect mm -hmm. that we're now looking at a trading band of crude oil going into this ugly candle of the 26th of November with a high of 78.65 and a low yeah, of... Yeah, uh, looking at that low, level. Yeah. yeah, and a low of 67. So I suspect it's going to be in this zone for a little bit longer. I don't really see any. I, I don't see anything to that, that for me would be a trigger to say, "Wow, crude oil is going straight yeah. back to 80." I think it's going to uh, complete this rally in another day or so. Then stall, and then fairly wide trading band before it can take off back into the 80s. But I'm looking at this. I'm looking at Chevron. I'm looking at uh, Chevron making a new recovery high. So we're looking at here again in this particular sector. We're looking at very diverse action. Look at look at Exxon, which is way down at the lower yep. range. CBX. So I think you have to be very specific. And even in the um, oil service sector, you've got a very big divergence between the stocks. So I think the generic OIH is a good way to trade this. And I would say even here at 193.94, if you put your foot in the water right here, I suspect any pullback will hold the 188 to 186 area. And there could be high highs to come and then be careful if it arches over. But in the meantime, yep. I think it's acting nicely. Hope that, okay, okay, and then, another question. And then if you have time for, for, for CLF, I don't know if that's... Yeah, so CLF, 
at this particular point, having held the 200 period moving average, which has been spectacular as a base uh, for quite some time. Let me, let me show you something here. Look at this from the low of trade back in September, right on the line at uh, 1886. It streamed up to $26.01 per cents for TE in October, and it gave an, an A shape cut all the way back to the 200 period moving average. I can't like it. I'll be back with you in a moment. We'll be back to Sharp in a moment. The Dow is up 500. The is 98 points. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Shark I'm going to have to make this quick. Cleveland Cliffs, uh, flat roll steel, uh, iron ore pellets, Trading up one dollar at twenty one forty six uh, as up five percent. I, I, I'm a little afraid of this in the sense that it's it's really it made lower lows and lower highs. But if you if you like it, I wouldn't get carried away. I would just let's see what X is doing. U.S. Steel. It's the same thing. That the infrastructure part of it is not really working as well as it should. I would just say to you, if you are interested, maybe tiptoe in here, but I would have a tight stop. You need to give it a couple of days because it needs to show that it, it doesn't want to go back to test the 20.09 uh, 200 period moving average and wants to break the resistance uh, to the 2160s. Hope that helps you. I've got to run. It does. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And you too. So, folks, let me just go through a couple of things here. Uh, when you have moves like this, that uh, you can't just attribute this to short covering. This has to be new, new buying. You're looking at areas that, like industrials, that 
uh, were out of favor, kind of coming back into favor as some of the tax sector really stalls, have a bounce, but maybe that's not quite where you want to be. So that, look at the Dow, how beautifully it is. This is really an outstanding three, well, two big candles, days young. Let's see where this closes. But I must say on a weekly basis, look at that, coming back more than half is about 60% from the low. I have to be impressed. And I have to say that the, the rolling correction that we've been talking about, I'm not sure it's done, but definitely it was rolling and you went sequentially through one sector after the other. The last one to, to really um, power down, but not very much, was the semis. And now they're trying to hold very well. So just be careful right here on the short side because maybe when the market ignores bad news, and all of a sudden, the same news gets reflected positively. I just have to respect that. And because of that, I'm saying I love what's going on right now. And uh, we can see that reflected a little bit finally in the brokerage. Look at the IAI brokerage up. I like that very much.